the militarization of space, a new arms race, and veiling the new frontier. Welcome to Eric Keek Journal. Today, we're exploring a topic that feels like something out of science fiction, but is becoming increasingly real the militarization of space. Once a peaceful expanse of exploration, space is now a potential battlefield. But what does this mean for global security? And how did we get here? In this video, we'll break down the historical context, the role of the U.S. Space Force, and the potential consequences of this new arms race in space. If you enjoy exploring these complex and pressing issues, consider hitting that super thanks to support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay informed about the world beyond Earth. Let's dive into this journey of discovery, competition, and potential conflict. Historical Context The Space Race and the Cold War Our story begins in the Cold War, when the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a battle for technological supremacy. This era gave rise to the Space Race, a competition that was as much about prestige and scientific advancement as it was about proving military power. When the U.S. landed on the moon in 1969, it was a defining moment, symbolizing the heights of human achievement. But this race also laid the groundwork for military competition in space. Back then, satellites were primarily used for observation and communication, but both superpowers knew that whoever controlled space would gain a strategic advantage. The space race wasn't explicitly about weaponization, Yet it marked the beginning of military presence in space, foreshadowing the era we're entering now. Do you think space exploration would have progressed so quickly without the competition of the Cold War? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. The Rise of Space Weapons and Anti-Satellite Technology As technology evolved, so did the means to weaponize space. Both the United States and the Soviet Union experimented with anti-satellite ASAT weapons missiles designed to destroy or disable enemy satellites. In 1985, the U.S. Air Force destroyed one of its own satellites in a demonstration, proving that it could neutralize orbital assets if needed. The Soviet Union followed with similar demonstrations. Today, multiple nations, including China and India, have demonstrated ASAT capabilities. The development of these weapons has raised significant concerns. Satellites control much of the world's navigation, communication, and military intelligence, so disabling one could create substantial disruption. Imagine the chaos of GPS, financial transactions, or emergency response systems suddenly went offline. This is why the weaponization of space has many people worried it isn't just about controlling space. It's about the power to destabilize life on Earth. The Space Force has several key responsibilities. One is space domain awareness, which involves tracking thousands of objects orbiting Earth from satellites to space debris. Another is missile defense detecting and intercepting ballistic missiles aimed at the U.S. Additionally, the Space Force handles satellite communications, ensuring secure channels for military operations. Finally, they're responsible for cybersecurity, guarding space-based systems against cyber attacks. Do you think the establishment of the Space Force was necessary? Or could these tasks have been managed by existing military branches? Share your thoughts. The Global Implications of Space Militarization The militarization of space has far-reaching implications that extend beyond the borders of any one country. As more nations develop space capabilities, the chances of conflict increase. Imagine a situation where one country targets another's satellites. That could escalate into a larger conflict on Earth with potentially catastrophic consequences. One major concern is the risk to critical infrastructure. Satellites are used for everything from telecommunications and weather forecasting to financial transactions and military operations. Disrupting them could affect countless systems on the ground. Then there's the issue of space debris. When satellites are destroyed, they create debris fields that could damage other spacecraft, setting off a chain reaction that makes certain orbits unusable. Finally, there's the question of an arms race. Just as nuclear arms created a Cold War stalemate, the development of space weapons could lead to a new era of costly and dangerous competition. Nations might race to develop the most advanced space technology 
diverting resources from other vital needs, international cooperation and norms, the push for peaceful space. Countries like the United States, Russia, and China are exploring ways to collaborate on space policies, though achieving consensus is challenging. Some experts suggest that creating clear norms, similar to those that govern international waters, could help mitigate risks. It's a complex task, requiring diplomacy, transparency, and mutual respect among spacefaring nations. The militarization of space is a reality we must face, with significant implications for global security. As space becomes more contested, it's up to world leaders, diplomats, and organizations to decide whether space will be a domain of cooperation or conflict. What future do you envision for Space One of peaceful exploration or strategic competition? Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this video informative, please click super thanks to support the channel, like, and subscribe for more deep dives into global and space affairs. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.